can think of where I was just really happy. It was maybe like a five or six week period. And what was Because that? I'm always, I mean, I have a lot of anxiety though. I'm always stressing out about things. I'm always, I'm a glass is two thirds empty right. kind of person. <laughs> I mean, so that's, I think that's just, I think I'm just not happy because I don't want to be happy. What were the so ingredients I, of those happy five weeks? Um, and were they consecutive or? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I can think of a six life. week period yeah, about a year and a half ago. Really? That was probably. What were the ingredients? What, this is like, when I was in, when what, I was in Ithaca. What makes you happy? I think when I was surrounded by a lot of people who I felt were were just like me. Yeah. Because I think I don't, I haven't often felt that. Right, right. That's why I was so happy in college. Okay. Because it was yeah. probably the first and only time those four years. I mean, like, I definitely had miserable stretches right. during those four years yeah. and I, you know, little bouts of depression or anxiety or whatever. Yeah. It wasn't all, like, you know, roses, but, right. um, but yeah, it was just a sense of being, like, with my people. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Like, yeah. you're, you're in, a, so in a place where you feel like you fit in, where yeah. people understand you, yeah. um, where you're not just going through the motions, so oh, yeah. you can be part of a community. Just, yeah, it was, yeah. That's, that's, that's why. Yeah, for me, yeah, happiness, the happiest times of my life are when I felt like an important part of the community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where I, where yeah. I felt important and where I felt... Like your presence matters where in the community. I, yeah, where my yeah. presence mattered, that I had an important role to play. Yeah. And that I was part of a team and a group, and yeah. you know, that feeling of community, like, makes for happiness. Yeah, interesting. Huh. Oh, happiness. <laughs> Like which knowledge has been the most unhappiness giving? Oh, um, I think because my, I mean, I, as, as the more I learn about religion, you know, even Judaism, the more I learn about the Hebrew Bible, the more I study it, it's, it's kind of like a paradox because in many ways I feel closer to God, but in other ways I feel farther because I learned so many things, I learned so many things about like the construction of the text and so on and so forth that I feel like I don't know anymore, I don't know the answer, I don't know what God is anymore, mm -hmm. I don't know, I mean I know, I know the Hebrew Bible, that I know, but I don't even know what that means, and I think that's, that's just, it's scary, I mean there's something liberating about it, mm -hmm, but I think mm -hmm. it's, it can be kind of frightening too, like it's easier just to know, like that's what's so easy about Christianity, it's just... Jesus is the it's way. It's so neat and tidy. That's you so easy. It, yeah. yeah. It's so easy. Um, I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, I, but I don't know that I want that, though, either. I, I think I like complication. I, I think I do, because I think I inevitably invite it into my life I mean, without realizing it. So I must be, it must make me happy on some level. I'm probably feigning unhappiness. I don't know, to a certain degree. Yeah, it stokes something in you. It keeps you mm -hmm. engaged. Yeah, exactly. Is there any knowledge that has made you particularly unhappy? Yes. There is. And it haunts me daily. And it's really, uh, it's just knowing too many gory details about um, oppressed people and animals in the world. I just know too much about it. And it's like, I wouldn't have in any other way because I want to be conscious and I want to be aware because I want to do whatever I can. But by the same token, there's very little I can do. Or at least that's the way it feels. And I know there are people who would argue with me on that. But I do feel a lot of the time helpless and, you know, just useless in the face of all of these things that break my heart that I would love to fix and change. And right, Which um, thing, leading things break your heart? You know, like, encountering a story about, uh, say, a, a region in Africa where there's literally so, I mean, not even so little, there's literally nothing to eat and so they eat mud pies, that kind of thing. Or um, having 
seen horrifying pictures about the way animals raised for food are, are treated. You know, things like that, where it's just like, you don't want to know. this system is all wrong, and, and it, it's, it, you know, I feel it almost like, I, I can, sometimes I experience the emotional reaction to these things almost like in a physical way, and, um, and all I want to do is, is fix it. How often do you think about it? Daily. So I can be happy in stints and stretches, but then 